Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. It feels kind of weird to be recording it this way, but um, I just want to let you guys know this will probably be one of the last readings of 2023 and into a, a portion of 2024. Um, so please watch this video through, make it count. Obviously, there are some other pre-recorded readings for each of the crypto coins, but I do think that it's time for me to wrap up this year. Obviously, you guys know the la one of the readings I'm definitely going to do or one of the videos I'm going to post is about the 2024 predictions. So please look out for those. I will post a separate video with the information for those if you're interested. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for getting me to 7,000 subscribers. Um, it's been pretty insane, but it's been a fun little journey to see how far you know, these types of things, this type of thing can go. Why not, right? I mean, go for it. If you have like an idea or you have like this thing that just feels like you're, you should go for it, then do it. No one's holding you back but yourself. And, you know, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain to go for a goal that you might have. So I kind of decorated it a little bit Christmassy. It's not like the cutest, but we're gonna work with it because I just took like cute things that like reminded me of the holidays, including this William Sonoma peppermint hot chocolate. So definitely give it a try. If you're into peppermint hot cocoa, I love the tin cans and every year I like collect them or like, I don't know, I use them for like coin collections and weird stuff. So peppermint hot cocoa from William Sonoma is one of my faves, it always has been. A thing that I just like it's a go-to for my family anyways not sponsored so I want to kind of preface this with saying um, first of all the reason that I feel like this is gonna be the last pre-recorded reading that I do is because the message is very very clear I've been thinking about this all day the message is clear, like, you're not going to have the same chance ever again twice. You'll never have the same chance twice. So like, make it count. We've talked about this a little bit, a lot of it, but there's a strong push for me to say that. Okay, however that resonates for you because that's such a general like topic or a statement. It's such a bland, a bland statement, but we're gonna do readings. We're gonna use like the Hail Mary. We're gonna like use like 10 different Oracle decks to see what we can, you know, to get. Hopefully my phone doesn't stop working. If it does, I don't know what to say. I feel like it's kind of like meant to be whatever comes through is meant to be heard. For the final few people before we embark into this real journey right the crypto express takes us to the north to our true north and straight to the top of the food chain right we're going to be predators this is what this has all been about the north pole true north to the moon it's all about being are you predator or are you prey it's all about getting to the top of the food chain getting to the space where if it's not that it's the top of the being the best at whatever it is that you do it's about heaven it's opening the gates of heaven the land of milk and honey this is about you crossing over from one way of doing things to another your old life is going to cost you your new one make it count the chance the chances that come around never come around again. You know, I remember when I got, and I told this story so many times, I remember when I got Ethereum at $130. It's never going to go back to $130. The low has been in the thousands at this point. It's not going back down. And, you know, it just goes to show, like, Dogecoin is never going to go back to point zero zero three again okay and make the same gains right it, it's not doing it it's poised for a breakout look at that with the poised card it's like the star 
it's to the north, the North Star, right? With the higher power, this is about there is a higher power behind all of this, helping us to move things forward, divine forces, right? And, you know, so everything right now is just, it's poised for a breakout. And 4 plus 8 is 12. This is the 12th month. Okay. Um, so I, I personally feel as though by the end of 2023 at the latest, the breakout comes because it is poised to be a star. All of these things are poised to be a star and to bring about happy changes. Look what card comes out next. Two plus six is eight, great wealth transfer. Right, 2024. Two plus zero plus two plus four is eight. People are gonna be so happy. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. You'd never even believe it. Treasure Island. Okay, look at the turtle holding the treasure chest. It took this long. But remember, the tortoise always wins. The hair, fast money. How you get it is how you lose it, baby. Remember that. You'd rather be the tortoise than the hare, wouldn't you? This is the crossover event, right? Between worlds. Your old life will cost you your new one. Exchanging gifts. Well, you heard it here first. I mean, the gift will be the crossover event to take you into this place poised for happiness, poised for treasure. The, the happiness comes from the, tre the treasure chest, the treasure that you acquire, that you find and that you accumulate, that you build and that you win with. So that is from the wisdom of the Oracle deck, okay? For our first little spread. So whatever, however this resonates with you, take it for what it is, right? I just want to do like a quick overview, I guess, of everything. Um, a blessing for good men and fathers. I feel strongly that going into this next phase, right? Um, I've always said that first the money comes and then the husband comes. I've always said that like, whenever I feel close to, whenever I start to have premonitions or start to get hints, you know, I, I say them out loud. I communicate them with you guys, with the collective. Because I feel like it's important. And I feel like that's part of the journey at this point in my life. That might change in six months. It might change in a month. It might change in a year. Point is, I've been getting a lot of hints that he's close. And if he's close, that means the opportunity to gain mass amounts of financial wealth and our abundance is close, okay? Totally separate from the husband because we're not doing gold digging bullshit on this channel. We're talking about our own shit. First you get yours and then you find the husband. And then you, you set yourself up to have double or nothing, right? Double with you and your husband or nothing. This blessing on solace and hope. Okay, the winter solstice is next week. And what this feels like is, I mean, this is wait for winter. This is winter, baby. This is it. The new beginning starts during the winter solstice. I just, I had this feeling that I needed to light this special candle that I got, which is the sun. Okay. This is Leo season. This is new beginnings. This is the happiest card in the deck. And it actually fell this card fell right underneath it the new beginnings come with winter and we've talked about that the winter waiting for winter for new beginnings to come through 
a light at the end of this tunnel, this cold, tough tunnel. And last but not least, a blessing to heal a relationship. So when it, we see this, it feels as though, you know, this is about death to the end of, this is death to one way of life. This is about, of course, who you want to become, right? Because you see how she's ready, is what I feel. Ready to heal a relationship, ready to put something behind her, ready to start over. If you're ready to heal, you're ready to start fresh. Look at that blessing in your sleep. On your sleep. So I feel as though a lot of people in general are going to be sleeping better very soon by the air sign season. Aquarius season is what I'm feeling. That's January to February. So this feels as though it comes, this blessing on the sleep comes by January, February as a result of healing the relationship with self, the relationship with who you were, the relationship that you, the, the, the person you once were, the person you had to say goodbye to. And so, yeah, I'm getting that in the dead of winter, January, February, Aquarius season is when that is healed. Okay. And that's by, of course, Blessed Be by Lucy Cavendish. Yeah, it's funny, I kept saying Lucy Cavendish, um, and I meant to say for Aslan and for Narnia. I don't know, I think it's Lucy's last name, and I kept saying Lucy Cavendish. Blessed be. So there's something to Narnia, okay? I feel as though if you haven't watched it already with your family or whatever, or if you've never seen it before, perhaps you want to watch the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, or you want to rewatch it. Um, perhaps there's something relevant there, okay? The Four Seasons, of course. With nature, look. I mean, this is nature protecting us. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, right? With that light at the end of the tunnel. This is about sewing things up. Again, things will never be the same twice. When you cut yourself, when you heat, when you wound yourself when a wound is created it never heals the same it never looks the same <sighs> can go back to being fine again but it just doesn't it's never the same after that right and so unfortunately there are a lot of people out there who ruin it before they can even start it right and ruin whatever it is because they don't believe because they don't trust themselves look at the shooting star this is about well this is confirmation of course that's wanting to come through but this is also about believing that the wishes that you make that the hopes that you have are going to happen this is about believing in self and it's about love it's about following the north star the wheel of fortune look at that this is jupiter here Okay, so with fate and confirmation, I mean, yes, fate loves irony. But this is just a reminder that, like, the hands of fate are in the stars. You can't really shake the things that are already preordained. So when you think of the things that have happened in your life, Listen, the universe can present opportunities. There are a lot of people that say, oh, like, you know, I, I want to send this message to you guys that I'm feeling. The message that wants to come through is, listen, God is going to present you the universe, whoever it is or whatever it is that you pray to or that you associate yourself with, right? Um, they're going to present you with an opportunity. You can either take it or leave it. You can either choose to proceed forward with it or not. Um, compromises will always have to be made. There are a whole bunch of people, if you can't compromise, you're not doing it the right way. Okay, I, I can tell you that for sure because business is all about compromising. It's not just your way in the, or the highway. See, this is why you have to also have to stay away from these types of people because here's the thing, like... The world doesn't revolve around you. 
doesn't revolve around what you believe to be the truth. It revolves around compromise. It's not a one-man show. Eve showed up to the scene, honey. Okay, you don't get to have the final say. The final say is a compromise. And that compromise comes from people who are able to put their ego aside, from people who believe and understand and trust and know that God, God is not going to allow for tomfoolery, right? I feel like that's really relevant to say because there are a whole bunch of people that will do anything for the chance to be with a certain type of guy, a certain type of woman, and they do not know how to stand in their power. And it's usually the ones that actually rebel and say no, the ones that don't want to conform. Those are the movers and the shakers of this world. Remember that. Remember that the people that tell you, you must stick to this status quo, I'm sorry, that's not how the world works. And that's not how it's going to work for me. I don't care that I have less. I don't care that I'm not going to have X, Y, and Z things. I know that the sacrifices and the compromises that I have, people say, oh, you don't have to make it so hard on yourself. Why are you making it so hard on yourself? Just do what, you, what you're supposed to do, and then you're going to have everything. Well, that's called selling your soul to the devil. That's not called doing things uh, in the name of God, okay? Because the name of God doesn't want you to change everything about who you are to conform to what you want. Remember that. When we see the stillness, when we see the swan, swan lake, I mean, the North Star, the auroras are behind. This is very like Denmark vibes. You have new beginnings. The sun, new beginnings again. New beginnings come during winter, delight. Well, I'm not going to say what that reminds me of, but it does remind me of a little bird. Tweet, tweet. Um, pleasure. Again, I'm seeing... You know, this feels like a pathway towards the light, a pathway towards the light, the sun, new beginnings. So really what this feels to me as well is like a release, a build up, something about a release. Stop blocking, stop keeping things still, stop holding things off. And those things that were held off were, were then released out into the open, out into the wild to just go crazy. And what happened? Crypto went nuts. A lot of people had a lot of alignments that have just been occurring back to back to back. There was a lot that was stopped and stalled because the collective was stalling, because the people at the top were stalling everything. And um, we could all sense that and feel that, and a lot of things were stuck and blocked. And they finally let some things get released and movement started happening. Traction started happening. And, you know, this tells up me that, you know, um, that release that came through, the fact that the new beginnings is the Leo season, the summertime, the summer solstice, it tells me that whatever happens, you know, right now during this winter solstice that's about to take place in a week or so, um, this is going to last and be something that by the summer solstice of 2024, the new beginnings, those new beginnings start, your, your new life can really take off and flourish by summer 2024. That's what I'm picking up on, or by the summer solstice, because I guess this is kind of like you know, a timeless type of reading, but this feels like it's very much for like winter time. Okay, we have take action, forgiveness, don't stop. Peaceful resolution. So for people out there just looking for some clarity, peaceful resolution. If you're having a problem, a significant problem, it's coming, but you do have to, for, you have to not stop <clears throat> doing the things that you need to do to heal you. You have to forgive yourself, forgive the other people, forgive the situation that was, take action. And from there, you're going to have a peaceful resolution. It feels like a, feels like a formula, if you will. 
gonna do like one or two more Oracle decks and then move on to, um, then I'm gonna move on to maybe the Universal Tarot deck like Kemper or something. So let's see what's coming in. Right as I said that, somebody came, somebody is driving in, driving up to the door, probably to drop off a package or something. We have the courthouse, we have the message. Two, three, seven, expectation. I think there is an expectation that somebody sends you a message and they might not. The message with the pathway, poverty. See, it's interesting, this courthouse feels like there's some sort of entrapment. Poverty, there's an expectation of a message that's gonna come through and provide pathway forward, a clear pathway forward that it feels as though it could take up to two or three months, three weeks, three months. There's some sort of a, a shift. It's like privileged lady. Look at that, after all this craziness, all, all this drama, look what pops out, the great fortune. So somebody here is destined for a great fortune. And you know what's interesting is this number eight, so two plus six is eight, 20, 24 is eight. The sun, great fortune. You know, I see this and I just almost feel like it's like this golden opportunity again. You're not gonna get the same chance twice. Whatever the chance is that you see or something that in your gut just tells you, please lunge to do, like you have to do this. Don't not do this. Like this is part of your fate. Don't do what I did. Don't be the person that should have said something don't be the person that should have done what I felt I needed to do when I had the chance. You know, don't be the person, don't be your old self if that was something that you would do. Or you like second guessed yourself, you did all these other things that like, you know, maybe you should have taken that risk. Maybe you should have done what you knew you were supposed to do. You felt it in your gut and you just didn't do it. You know, how many times in your life do you have the, that gut feeling, that instinct telling you, I have to take this risk, right? Like there are very few times, but sometimes there's that one time that's the catalyst. And frankly, I had a lot of these this energy that occurred for me personally um, late this summer in 2023 and during the holiday season in 2018, 2019, and then I had one other time in 2020, and that was when Ethereum was at all time lows. I had very, it's very rare feeling that comes around, but when it does, I listen. I do, I listen because I know, I know that I need to trust myself, right? I know that I need to listen to my intuition. It just, it matters more than anything to listen to your heart and your intuition your soul. Ooh. The chariot comes. <sighs> you know, I feel as though the end of this year is probably going to be, if anything does happen, it's going to be a shocker. It's going to be like we could have a major correction and then a major leg forward. Like it could just be one of those things where I'm just like reading a lot of this right now. And it just feels a lot of like, feels like a lot of like, um, the indecision, the like inability to make decisions. It wants to happen, but it's just, it's not going to get there the way that you think it will. Again, I keep picking up on the star card. A star is born. Like there's something important about the star season, Aquarius season. 
you know, I just, um, lunar eclipse is here as well. So that's a big deal. What I'm picking up on right now is that we could have between Aquarius season and the lunar eclipse for a time frame of 2024. That is like a super important time frame. And that the tower just came out with striking down the mask. Because remember, the mask is ripped off. Like I'm not going into 2024 without having the answers to my freaking questions. I'm not playing those bullshit games. I'm not playing the, ooh, this person's a ghost. Oh, they're ghosting me. Oh, they're playing ghost games. None of this. Get away from me. Get away from everybody. You need to isolate yourself and figure out another path because no one deserves to be talking to, dealing with this level of like bullshit, right? Um, these people that just can't be truthful and honest to you. This is exactly why also like there's just a, there's an, a change to the entire system as we know it. And, you know, I'm going to finish out with this deck. Okay, this Oracle deck. It's one of my favorites. Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Tarot for a new era. So let's just do a quick little shuffle and then we'll call it. The Mother. This is the Empress. This is birth of a new cycle so it's just confirmation here okay um birth of a new cycle greenery and look look who else is popping here the tortoise see she took her time she took her time to accumulate wealth she took her time to accumulate to become who she was meant to be in the faith through faith Look, the tortoise again, right underneath. So for people out there, short, sh slow and steady wins the race, you guys. Okay. Just keeps proving this point of like slow and steady wins the race. And, you know, I think about even like the tortoise and the hare again of just this energy of like, um, when the, when, when the hare fell asleep, he had the chance to just cross the finish line. He didn't have to sleep. His ego was so beyond. He was so out of sync and out of touch that like he just believed that like he had the Midas touch, that he could do anything he wanted and he would still get to where he needed to get. And I'm telling you, there are a whole bunch of people that are in this place where they like this past decade, decade and a half, they've had it real nice. They've had it easy the past five, 10 years. It's just been smooth sailing for them. Those people are about to have the biggest wake up call of all time. And the scales are going to be rebalanced. Okay. Every 10 to 15 years, I feel like I see this every 10, 15 years, or just like talking to my friends, talking to my family who are older. Like, there's this thing about people who haven't been getting stuff, like, haven't been having it good. Those people are going to suddenly have everything they want because they did all the work, even when they were in the dumps. And they're never going to forget what came with that, what how that felt. And so when the time comes and the corrections the pendulum swings back against them in the future, it's not going to hit them nearly as hard ever again because this, these defining moments right now where your ego is, you're humbled, your ego remains intact. You're never going to be in a situation where, see, look at this, this is the fool, okay, with the bag. This is one of those things where, you know, the ego's in check. We have healing. This is healing work. We also have the mask. Again, this mask that's on 
this woman. It's like, again, like, <sighs> the queen of earth here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to yawn. But look to see. All four seasons are here. Embedded in the cards. The Queen of Earth's cards. Abundance. Nothing but abundance. And it's like you had to go through all these trials and tribulations. You had to take it the slow route. You had to heal. And go through that aspect of your life. You had to go through sort of like the mask Maybe all of this is simply just a reflection of you. You had to become wiser as a human being. You had to. You didn't have a choice. This is a card I never get. Which again makes me feel very strongly that a person that comes into your life, a man, if you are a woman watching and you are single, very possible that a man does come into your life in the next six months. Okay, very possible. The rose is here. So this is an offering that is about to come. And this is from somebody who's ready. They're open and receptive to love. They're open and receptive to the next phase, to this next phase in life. Being wiser, choosing a path forward. Yeah, I mean, Queen of Water. Here we go again with the turtles. So this is all about slow and steady wins the race. This chance will never be had. This will never be available again. That's what I'm picking up on is like, this is, this is it. If you have an opportunity to jump on it, you have an opportunity to say something. And this feels like time frame wise, I keep picking up on... I keep wanting to say two to three weeks. Like, I've been saying two to three weeks forever. See, look at this. It almost, this is like three weeks. Like, this just flew out right now, just out of nowhere. This three of cups celebration. Three weeks from now, it's the new year. So I'm, I'm very inclined to just say that like, three weeks from now, you might just, be in a different place in your life. You it, it, Sometimes, you know, it's like all it has to do is, t all it takes is one, one little plot twist that is a domino effect. And maybe that's what this is. Celebration. Because look, the most, the next holiday season that comes up is the new year. The Three of Cups is a celebration. It's an event. Look at the cups filled with drinks, filled with something, right? I mean, I never noticed this, but it's like, look what's in her hair. Wine. It just feels like, or with grapes, I'm sorry. To me, the brunette, it just feels like this has to do with like ugh, aging, wisdom, like, you've graduated. You are the one, you're the chosen one. And it's everything we've been talking about in a nutshell that just wants to come full circle for everybody. Um, I just want you guys to know that, like, I'm very appreciative of you. I really, truly am. And I just thank you for being on this journey with me. I don't know where 2024 is going to take me, it's going to take any of us, but, you know, everything is meant to happen the way it's happening, and I'm never going to regret being the person that overcame all of these obstacles and learned these things, because we don't know where any of us is going to be a year from now, six months from now. Frankly, this point by spring of 2024, that's 12 weeks away, maybe less, maybe more. And, um, you know, we could all be in very different places in our lives. I hope that you guys make the most of whatever this next phase is in life. And, you know, 
and you do your thing. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if this resonated in particular. Thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. Have an amazing holiday season if we don't speak or if we don't, if you don't get to see any new videos or whatever the case is. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. If you celebrate different holiday, have an amazing holiday. Stay merry. Stay jolly. Keep the positive spirit up and remember... I just think of Pol Polar Express again, and I wanted to just say, like, remember that he believed. In the end, it took him all of that, if you've seen the Polar Express, it took him all this work to finally, like, believe. To finally get to the place where he believes. And that train is leaving, right? That train is leaving the station. When that train leaves, it's not coming back. When that opportunity comes through, it's not coming back the same. It's not going to be the same. So please make sure that whatever it is that comes your way, the opportunities, the decisions that you make, that they're the right ones for you, that you think through this that you make sure that you will feel safe and sound, that you feel comfortable with the decisions you've made. Um, you know, I think a lot of us in general have everything to gain and nothing to lose because we've already lost so much. And when we're on the other side of all of this, one day, very soon, you know, I hope you look back and you're thankful for everything and everybody and every stuff, every bit of conversations, discussions that you've had with me, with listening to readers, listening to what we've all had to say. Of course, none of it is financial advice, legal advice, or medical advice to your own research, but this is where we are. So thanks again, guys. Sorry for the long-winded talk, but um, farewell to all and I will see you soon. Bye.